Welcome to Charm Health, your cloud-based electronic health record, practice management, and medical billing solution. This LabCorp interface video tutorial explains how to interface works between LabCorp and Charm EHR for sending orders and receiving results electronically. In this video, we are going to cover topics on how to create and transmit lab orders to LabCorp on patient visit from encounter, how to create and transmit lab orders from lab orders section without creating an encounter, and receiving results electronically from LabCorp and reviewing the received ones. Creating and transmitting lab orders to LabCorp from Encounter. In this section, we are going to see creating lab orders from a chart note on a patient's visit and then transmitting them electronically to LabCorp. Search patient and create encounter. From diagnosis section, add diagnosis. In recommendation section, select order labs tab. Search and add option can be used to add the labs. Choose LabCorp and Lab dropdown. Since the interface is enabled with LabCorp, LabCorp's complete test compendium list is loaded into your account. Search the test name you are looking for by entering few characters of the test name or by the test code. Matching tests will be listed in the auto suggestion dropdown. Selecting the test from the auto suggestion list will add the test into the chart note. If selected test has ask at order entry or AOE questions, questions will pop up. Fill in the answers and add the test to the chart note. Edit AOE option can be used to edit the filled in AOE details. Multiple tests can be searched and added to the lab order. Map DX codes. Once you have ordered the lab test, next you have to map patient's active diagnosis to the lab orders using Map DX. Map all DX checkbox can be used to map all the active diagnosis of the patient to all tests. Diagnosis can also be mapped at a test specific level. Transmit lab order. After adding all the tests into the chart note, use transmit to initiate electronic transmission process. In transmit view, lab orders added to the chart note will be listed. Send order electronically option will display the lab order summary view. Here you can verify the details of the lab order. The next button takes you to the billing details screen. Your LabCorp account ID is chosen by default for order transmission. If the facility has multiple LabCorp client IDs, choose an appropriate account number for placing the order. Lab facility lists the lab for forwarding sites where the lab orders can be sent. If you have an in-house laboratory and are collecting specimens for this lab order, please fill the specimen collection date and time. Result copy. Test result copy will also be sent to patient or the given fax number in addition to sending the result copy to your Charm EHR account. Bill type. Labs can be billed in three ways such as client, patient, and third party. You can select the option based on the individual who pays the lab fee. 1. If the bill type is client, practice is taking responsibility to pay the lab fee. 2. If the bill type is patient, the lab fee will be paid by the patient directly to the laboratory. 3. If you select the third party billing, then the lab fee will be paid by the insurance company. In addition to the guarantor details, third party billing requires insurance details. Insurance details are pulled from patient demographics, patient details, insurance section. Primary insurance details are mandatory for third party billing. The secondary insurance can be used as optional. Note, lab orders can be placed to patient service centers or lab information systems. If the practice has an in-house lab, the specimens can be collected in-house and orders can be sent to lab information system. If the practice does not have an in-house lab, the order can be sent to a patient service center. If the PSC is selected, then the patient has to carry the lab order copy to the PSC for specimen withdrawal. Once it has been electronically ordered, click Transmit to view the status of the lab order transmission. This opens up the order details view. Electronically sent information can be seen here and you can print the lab order using the print option. Lab order contains complete details of tests ordered, AOE, diagnosis details, billing details, and lab core specific barcodes. Creating and transmitting lab orders from lab order section without creating an encounter. Lab orders can be added without encounter from lab order section using the plus lab order button. Search for the required patient and select the search and add option to find the lab and test you are looking for. Enter the AOE details if required. Map the DX to the corresponding test and save the order. Click Send Order Electronically Action Item. This will open up the order summary page. Enter the specimen collection date and time. Select the build type based on the client and then place the lab order. Once the lab order has been placed, the order status will be displayed under the lab order section. The export as PDF option is used to download the lab orders. Lab order copy contains complete details of tests ordered, AOE, diagnosis details, 
billing details, and LabCorp specific barcodes. Check ABM status. The check ABM status is used to view the advanced beneficiary notice details for the tests, if available. An ABM is a written notice that a Medicare patient may receive from a physician, provider, or supplier when there is a reason to believe that Medicare will likely not pay for an item or service. The ABN assists a Medicare patient in making an informed choice about whether or not to receive the services, knowing he or she may be responsible for the payment. AccuDraw Details AccuDraw Details option is used to know how the specimen needs to be collected. The LabCorp AccuDraw service provides the client with on-screen visual cues with specimen collection instructions to help ensure accuracy and precision when collecting specimens within your office. Lab Results section. In this section, we are going to see the results being received electronically from LabCorp and review the workflow. Once Lab completes a test, the results will be pushed electronically to Charm. The received result will be available in Lab's Lab Results section as well in the patient's dashboard lab records section. Received lab results are in unsigned status and reviewer can review the results using review action item. Result details received from LabCorp will be displayed in the review section. If the reviewed result contains the fasting details, then it can be viewed by clicking the show more option. After review, interpretation can be chosen and then the report can be signed using sign button. On signing, if the patient is already registered with Charm PHR account, Share record with patient option can now be used to share the result copy to the patient through the PHR application. You can also send an internal message to the patient if required. Signed results are moved signed filter option. Result report can be downloaded using export as PDF option. Manually mapping patient to e-result. Unsolicited results may receive with incorrect patient details. Such results are not able to map to the patient automatically. They are listed in the lab results section with unknown patient. Patient can be mapped to this result using map patient option. Map patient view shows the patient details received in the result message and also the probable patients available in your account based off of date of birth and gender of the patient details received in the result. If the probable patients list does not have the appropriate patient, use search by patient name or record ID field to pull the matching patients list by the name record ID criteria map the appropriate patient to the result. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on our social media for the latest updates.